you've got to take a flyer on the guy that your baseball operations people have have told you is the best prospect perhaps you've had in 25 years. Yeah. Lock him up. Take that $80 million flyer because if you bring him to the big leagues uh, and, he, and he's, he's a star, then it's going to cost you more to keep him. He might be the best prospect in all the baseball, at least according to MLB.com. He's number two on the list behind can't miss legacy Matt's boy Jackson Holiday. Let's go. Well, to it always is. The, the thing is, the money's rising. You're back to Longoria was what, 30 million when Evan Longoria right. was offered that deal. Now we're up to 80 million. So it seems. You know, it's worth it in a sense. But the whole thing here, he's checking all the box for the analytics, and he's checking all the box for the old school. And so when you do that, that becomes your guy. And and that, he's going to be in the big leagues. But, you know, and these things are hit and miss, too. Look, we, we know about some of these things that have uh, been put out there, guaranteed money for guys that have never played in the big leagues. Not yeah. all of them work. Right. Uh, let's go to Joel Sherman. and it's Joel's great. in the Joel's building, in man. The building my favorite with people. Joel, What's what do you got Joel? on this? First of all, Harold, let's deal with the reality. I'm on the New York City subway system almost every day. I'll put up my rats against a Melbourne rat any day of the week. Uh, Thank you, Joel. Thank you. I mean, that's breaking news. Uh, no, you hit Churio. Uh, he's liked. There's a, there's a five-tool potential. The scouts who've seen him said, wait till you see him run if you haven't seen him run. He doesn't even turn 20 until March. And I just think you have to think of this as a broader picture Milwaukee Brewer issue. David Stearns uh, kind of stepped aside last year wasn't around now he's completely away he's gone to the Mets to run their baseball operations the Brewers have made the playoffs in six of se last seven years Craig Council left we're turning the page on that Brewer team and the new Brewer team is going to be led by Churio who's one of the better prospects but they believe they have a catcher Jefferson Cuaro coming uh, they have uh, Tyler Black at third base coming. We saw the beginning of this last year. Sal Freelich, Garrett Mitchell, Bryce Terang, Joey Weimer. They're trying to turn this team over, and it leads to the bigger question. They want to try to win in the NL Central again this year, and they internally believe it. But do they say, let's turn it over completely? Corbin Burns, a free agent a year from now. Uh, Willie Adamas, a free agent a year from now. Devin Williams, a free agent two years from now. Do they say, let's go out and build as big a prospect base around what we are already putting in the major leagues and we're now doing the next Brewer team incomplete? Or do they keep those players with the young players and Christian Yelich and go for it in 2024, at least until the trade deadline, and make a different decision then? It really matters for this marketplace, especially when it comes to Burns, when you hear how everyone is looking for high-end starting pitching. You know, the interesting th thing here, too, Joel, my question to you, are they more like the Braves now? And if you think about it, you got to have the right players. Like, this kid is the right player to sign because he's agreeing to it. He's not sitting there going, I'm worth $300 million. I'm not doing this. So that's why it works for the Braves. They got Acuna to sign $100 million. You got Albies at 34 or 35 or whatever it was. You trade for Olsen. You lock him up at where he was at because they weren't looking for $400 million. So this is what small market teams have to do, but you got to identify your guy. Cleveland tried it, and Lindor didn't want it, right? So my, my question on all of that is, are they thinking more like the Braves? Is this the beginning of them locking up more players. Yeah, you know, Harold, you, you hit the most important thing. It's about, I think, usually a player and an agent. Are they ready to do business this early? Clearly, like Acuna, who this player is compared to in some ways, right, as a kind yeah. of light version of him, he might not have the power potential of Ronald, but he has a lot of the same qualities. He was a guy who used to play shortstop. They moved him to center field. Is his future on a wing? I think one of the interesting things is, does he make the team out of spring training, right? You've taken the service time stuff away completely now. He's got a chance to make the team out of spring training. I would think, again, he only turns 20 in March. But Harold, it's about who's willing to do these deals. Mm -hmm. I just think that they have their their payroll is going to drop dramatically now over the next few years, especially if they move on from Burns, especially if they move on from Adamas, and that they can make kind of evergreen decisions. You know, does Sal Freelich want to sign long term? Does Bryce Terang want to sign long term? You know, that those kind of players, the question is. You know, Harold, you talk to players all the time. 
Some want to go year to year, and some want the comfort right away. As we see with a guy like Acuna, he probably could have made twice as much money during these years, probably a lot more because he gave up free agent years. And this player, if he's everything that he's cracked up to be, you pointed out, every prospect list is going to have him and Jackson Holiday 1-2 in some order in the next few weeks as it comes out for the 2024 season. If he is who the projection is, $80 million is going to be a drop in the bucket to what he's actually yeah. worth, which is why these teams get ahead of it. They're taking a bit of a gamble. This guy has never played an inning in the major leagues, as you pointed out, six games at AAA. So it's a gamble by the team, but it's also a gamble by the players. How many players want to take that gamble? How many agents want to take the gamble with the player? How far does this run into his uh, years again? He's got, if, from what I understood from, uh, from talking to somebody, is it's eight years with two option years. Wow. So, again, this takes, he'll still be late prime, right, 29 years old, if, even if the two option years are picked up. But this covers big, you know, what you'd want if you're the Brewers, all the potential quality years through his wow. 20s.